guys and welcome back or welcome if you are new here my name is May or Miss Leva and I will be doing a first impression today on my newest handbag and that is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB in the Damier Ben print. Now I've had this bag for three months, two months, maybe three, no two. All right, get it together, May. So I've had this bag for two months and I just wanted to share with you a, a quick video on my first impressions of the handbag. The Alma Silhouette in general, I feel is a very classic style to the fashion house. And since I already have other classic styles in my collection, I felt like I was missing this one in order to complete my little Louis Vuitton collection. I wanted to go over just the basics first, then I will be sharing just my opinion so far in regards to the bag. And I also will be noting some details that I have noticed in regards to using this bag as a crossbody. So diving right in, the Alma BB retails here in the states for $17.60 if I'm not mistaken but there might be a price increase by the time this video goes up so I'll make sure to pop the correct price up on the screen as I said this one is in the Damier Ben print she also comes in the monogram print and there's also now a whole new range of beautiful colors in the epi leather they do have options with a very thin leather strap and then they also have the options of those new canvas style straps that they have released this one does have the beautiful red interior lining as you can see and inside you just have one slip pocket in the back you do have a non-adjustable thin leather strap it also does come with a little clochette which I prefer not using it on the bag and then you also have a set of lock and keys which are used in order for you to be able to close the bag if you wanted to do so. As for the exterior of the bag, you do have two separate zipper pulls. It does have two top handles and they each have a little extender on the hardware in order for you to put the strap and be able to use the bag as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. And then she also does have feet, which I think is always such a nice addition to any handbag now let's get into some pros and cons that I have noticed as I have had the bag and as I have used her my biggest con of this bag is this very smooth leather piece that it does have in the bottom what really scares me is just bumping into something or placing the handbag down in a place where I'm probably not supposed to and having this get chipped or scratched so I really try to be very careful as to where I place this handbag but I am telling myself not to baby her. You guys know how I feel about the smooth leather. I talk your ears off in regards to my Fendi peekaboo and how every time I grab that bag, I just feel like I'm not enjoying it because I'm just thinking of don't hit the bag mate because you're gonna get it ruined. So I'm trying to be the complete opposite with this one, but regardless of the fact that always lingers in the back of my mind. Another con is the fact that the strap is non-adjustable. That is the main thing that everybody points out in any review video that they do in regards to the Alma. Now I will mention that I have used my Speedy B crossbody strap instead of this one when I did opt to carry this one crossbody. However, even with that being said, I didn't find this bag to be comfortable as a crossbody. All right guys, really quick, I wanted to share with you what I meant about wearing her crossbody. First off, this handle just sort of stays like that. Even if you try to make sure that she stays flat, it just pops out and as more and more time goes by and you continue to walk and play around with it and open her, she just starts kind of popping out more and more. So just wanted to point that out. The other thing is, I don't know if you can see, but it's just very tight right here, which for me personally, is not comfortable to get in and out of the handbag. I do have to move her forward, kind of extend it, open it up a little bit more in order to maneuver my things inside. And when I'm running around or when I'm running errands, I don't wanna have to be thinking about that. I just rather be able to get in and out of the handbag and it's just a little bit uncomfortable for me personally. As you can see on my body frame, it does pop out as I was mentioning. So I try to keep her on the front part, but you can see even crossbody, she just lays very uncomfortably because these two little hooks are just so close to one another. This is me standing completely sideways for the camera and you can see how she stands up there. Like there's no way for her to like really just lay on your body. Let me know if you own the Alma BB and if you use it crossbody, if you kind of understand where I'm coming from or if you think I'm crazy. As you can see, the silhouette or the style of this bag is sort of like a dome shape. 
very similar to their cosmetic cases as well so you do have a wider bottom and then it just sort of slims in as it moves up top so for that reason it lays on your body very uncomfortably once again giving you that possibility to bump into something and then ruin the bottom of the handbag so just keep that in mind if you do opt to wear this bag crossbody. Another little negative that I did want to point out is I really thought this bag was going to fit a little bit more than it really does. It is pretty wide as you can tell. So I just thought I was going to be able to slide my things in there and sort of line them up. However, I go back to the style of the handbag and the fact that it is wider but slims as you move up top. It kind of minimizes the amount of things that you can really lay on here. So what I do when I do pack her is I pretty much put whatever I can on a line basis. So one in front of the other and then whatever it is that I'm going to grab the most often, I just lay it on top of everything else. If that makes sense, I'll make sure to insert a clip for you guys. So I think that does it for the little negative points that I have to share with you guys. Let's jump on to the positive and that is one I absolutely love that I did get the Damier Band print. As I mentioned earlier, the bottom piece is in this treated leather, which gives me a little bit more peace of mind, especially during the rainy season. I do live in Miami and rain just pops out of nowhere at any moment of the day. So if I am carrying this bag, I like to have the peace of mind that it doesn't matter if I'm caught in a downpour, I'm not gonna have a bunch of rain marks on my handbag. I also feel like this Damier band canvas is really sturdy and durable in a very positive way. I did mention the issue that I had with the newly released reversed monogram Rosalie wallet, but this one in particular, I feel like it's very strong, very nice. Like you can tell that it's just gonna be a handbag that's gonna last you decades. Another thing that I really like about this handbag, but that's just personal preference, is that it does come with the beautiful red interior lining. I just feel like any bag that has that combination is very sexy in my opinion. So I'm really glad that they did incorporate it in this handbag. Another positive in my opinion is that the handle drop length is very, very comfortable. It's very easy to carry top handle like so, but she fits very comfortably in the crook of your arm as well. So I'm glad that they thought through the drop of the top handle length and actually gave us a little bit of room to play with. And then last but not least is how seamlessly this bag has been able to incorporate itself into my wardrobe. I haven't used her as much as I wanted to just because we've gotten into summer and I've wanted to wear more of like my raffia bags or my bags that have a little bit of a pop of color to incorporate them with my looks. But I definitely see myself gravitating to this bag as we get into fall and winter. Not that you cannot use her for spring or summer. I feel like Damier Ben is a year long print in my opinion. However, as I said, I do have other bags that I kind of wanted to incorporate more into my looks because those are specifically seasonal bags. I do think the monogram print is a little bit more casual and more sporty in a sense. So if you are looking to add the Alma BB into your collection and want an option that you can wear both during the day and at nighttime, I honestly cannot recommend this print enough. All right guys, so that does it for this very quick first impressions video. I just wanted to point out some negative and some positives that I've already picked up on. I didn't want to go too much in depth because honestly, I haven't used the bag as much as I want to in order to be able to give you a very thorough review. I will leave two other videos for you guys to check out next here. And as always, thank you all so much for taking some time out of your day to watch today and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye everyone. Bye.